Full of greatness, pigment, melanin, courageous, gender, pretty spirit, trans, elevate us across the Beautiful beings, welcome. As we arrive together, I would like to take a moment of silence for mental health. All of those who need some, may they get what they need and may the psychiatric care facilities um, or mental health prisons be abolished. Bienvenido, welcome. I am Kua Jasiri. That is my first name. My pronouns are the one and this one. I am the founding executive at Authentic Creations Publishing Apothecary. And I want to share with you all my journey of genital sexuality and gender exploration. So I'm in my car. I just wanted privacy. I was just kind of welling up even uh, practicing this and um, actually didn't get far in the practice. I just wanted to just do it for you. <laughs> um, I am going to read Come Out, Come Out, my smallest zine with you um, during this video. I do want to give a shout out to Abby. Thank you so much for your support. So this zine, we're going to start with how to make it. So I have an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Any paper is great. I fold it long ways. Uh, my microphone's over here. So I'm like, Oh, it's gonna, you're going to hear all this. So long ways. And then I just uh, rip it. And then with what's left over, I fold it into half. And again, to make four sections. And then I like the accordion. So I'm gonna take the first one, fold it in, the next one, and then fold this back on itself so that it opens in a kind of accordion method. Oh, right. So then you pick which side your front and you can read through it. You can either do a left to right or a right to left. That's also exciting about this. And then when you get to the end, you flip it back. So page one, I open right to left. Get to the last page. Then you go back through. And so this means the back of your zine is your middle cover in essence and your front cover and your back cover. So it's just something to play with. And then I usually use this as a template, write what I want to do and then start creating a zine. So this one was inspired by a zine that I saw um, by someone else and I wanted to document my own journey. So, um, before we get into, I wanted to say this zine starts at age four. It goes through my ages on each page. It starts at age four. Um, and so I just want to talk a little bit about my journey before I was four years old. Um, before I was four years old, um, I was actually in the womb. So I'm in my parents' womb and, um, they have, that ultrasound where my genitals are developed and they tell my parents, or you don't, um, but when uh, an ultrasound can tell your genitals, my parents were told that I had um, an external genital 
And my parents actually um, put me up for adoption because they wanted um, a child with internal genitals. And between that ultrasound and my next one, um, my genitals changed to internal genitals. And the doctor then reported that they changed. My parents kept me. (laughs) Here we are. Um, So that is what happened in my journey just with my own genitals and wanting... I guess to be accepted just really before I even understood why or what that was just wanting to be kept by my parents. Um, So then when I was about um, three, I told my best friend Sally that uh, more or less I just wasn't um, a girl, a female, a woman, a young woman. Um, and nor did I want to grow into womanhood, um, and that I believe there was more options. Um, Sally was super supportive and just like also three and just told me I could do anything I want to do. Um, and for a long time, that was the most support I got in my, um, gender journey, gender expression journey. So thank you, Sally. And I guess the doctor for that heads up. Um, so come out, come out as what? Assigned female at birth. So just talking about the cover a little bit is, um, this is an image of myself, my, um, genitals. I am intersex claiming that identity more and more. So this is me actually birthing my authentic self. So I am birthing my authentic self, just like you know, what do you want from me? Like, what are the options? Um, and kind of, uh, my journey assigned female at birth. So then we get into the first page. This zine is about my journey of realizing my genitals, gender, and sexuality, the identities along the way. So from ages four to 13, I adopted identities such as tomboy, athlete, and confused, overall confused. Um, and I felt like these were safe places to be. Tomboy and athlete were encouraged of me when I was younger, um, although I was regularly misgendered as female. Um, between the ages of 14 and 22, I identified as a lesbian. I changed my name to her because I wanted to feel more what it was like um, to be consumed by that um, lady identity. And during these years, I was regularly misgendered as male. So then between ages 23 and 26, I was, I came out as gender neutral, non-conforming, gender non-conforming, just the strangest thing just mostly pale folks, um, European descendants would come up to me just so zealous and be like, you're a vegan. (laughs) Um, I'm an omnivore. So I don't know exactly, but I was always just very perplexed by that. And just the audacity to be like, it's so definite. I can tell. (laughs) Um, So that was always a letdown, and I kind of have, like, some trauma around vegans now. Otherwise, when I turned 27, I identified as genderqueer and gender variant. Um, I started exploring my external genitals more, the ones that I had absorbed in the womb and realized I have a spiritual version or a non-flesh version of those external genitals and um I really love them now and are claiming more intersexness and learning about that um in myself and how to just be in solidarity more with intersex people um I also had a rebirthing ceremony I'll talk about that more in the next video but that was very important for me to be born genderqueer um So I did that. So then we're at the end of the zine and then we flip back through. So from ages 30 to 31, 
I use the pronouns the one and this one and theirs. Beauty, supreme, my name, all of those are great. I believe that I completed my genderqueer puberty um, and what that means to me, realizing um, my genitals, my gender, my sexuality, which is now like a genderqueer polysexual. It's just this cute little doodle. Now I can be me. Um, yeah, and so that's my zine. Thank you so much. I just wanted to do a little something something with you. So this is part one. This zine will be available on Patreon. I will sign it and it goes along with this three part series. Um, next video is about um, my spiritual journey, uh, breaking the cycle, breaking the system, the um, harmful patterns of my lineage. So thank you so much. Of course, if you likey likey, please donate. And as always, we value you.